The meaning of life is a deeply philosophical and subjective concept that has been explored for centuries through religion, philosophy, science, and personal reflection. Since there's no universally accepted definition, the meaning of life can vary depending on cultural, spiritual, and individual perspectives. Here are some common interpretations. Existential Perspective According to existentialist thought, the universe has no inherent meaning. It's up to each individual to create their own purpose through their choices, actions, and values. Thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus emphasize that life is absurd, but we can find meaning in how we live it. Scientific Perspective From a purely scientific point of view, the meaning of life can be seen as the continuation of biological processes and evolution. Life's purpose might be to survive, reproduce, and pass on genetic material to ensure the continuation of the species. While this doesn't provide a spiritual or moral purpose, it offers a perspective grounded in the natural world. Humanistic Perspective Humanism suggests that the meaning of life lies in human values, relationships, and personal fulfillment. It emphasizes human potential and the search for meaning through love, creativity, community, and the pursuit of knowledge. The focus here is on making life meaningful through one's actions, connections with others, and contributions to society. Personal and individual meaning. Many modern thinkers and everyday people believe that the meaning of life is a personal journey, where individuals find their own purpose through what brings them joy, fulfillment, or a sense of achievement. This might be through relationships, creating art, pursuing passions, making a difference in the world, or simply appreciating the beauty of life. Philosophical Inquiry Philosophers like Aristotle believed in eudaimonia, a concept of flourishing or living well. He saw the pursuit of virtue and wisdom as central to a meaningful life. On the other hand, Friedrich Nietzsche challenged traditional notions of meaning, suggesting that we should create our own values and purpose in the face of a world without inherent meaning. Spiritual or religious perspective. Many religious traditions offer specific answers to the question of life's meaning. For example, in Christianity, life's purpose is often seen as serving God, following Jesus' teachings, and seeking eternal salvation. In Hinduism, it might involve pursuing dharma, duty, moksha, liberation, and karma, action, and its consequences. Buddhism emphasizes the end of suffering and the attainment of enlightenment as the ultimate purpose. The Bible addresses the meaning and purpose of life in various books and passages, offering a perspective centered on knowing God, living according to His will, and finding fulfillment in a relationship with Him. Here are some key themes and verses that shed light on the biblical understanding of the meaning of life. To know God and have a relationship with Him. Jeremiah 9, 23, 24. This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches, but let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in these I delight, declares the Lord. This passage emphasizes that the purpose of life is not in earthly achievements, but in knowing God and understanding His character. John 17 to 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Here, Jesus defines eternal life as a relationship with God through knowing Him, suggesting that life's true meaning is in connecting with God. To reflect God's image. Genesis 1:27. So God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God He created them. Male and female, he created them. Being made in the image of God implies that humans have a special purpose to reflect God's character, creativity, and love in the world. Ephesians 
for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This verse suggests that part of our purpose is to live out the good works that align with God's intentions, expressing his image through our actions. To love God and others, Matthew 22, 37, 39. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it, Love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus summarizes the commandments into loving God and others, suggesting that the meaning of life is found in these relationships. Love, as a guiding principle, is central to the biblical understanding of life's purpose. To glorify God, Isaiah 43, 7. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This verse indicates that humans are created for God's glory, meaning that their lives should reflect His greatness and character. 1 Corinthians 10.31 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Paul emphasizes that all aspects of life, even the ordinary, should be lived in a way that brings honor to God, suggesting a purpose that encompasses all of one's actions. To seek God's kingdom and righteousness, Matthew 6, 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse emphasizes that life's focus should be on seeking God's rule and righteousness rather than material concerns, indicating that meaning is found in prioritizing God's purposes. To enjoy God's creation, Ecclesiastes 3, 2, 12, to 13. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. Ecclesiastes acknowledges the enjoyment of life's simple pleasures as a gift from God. While the book reflects on the fleeting nature of life, it also encourages finding joy in God's gifts. To live with eternity in mind. Ecclesiastes 12.13 Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. This verse concludes Ecclesiastes' reflections on life's purpose, emphasizing reverence for God and obedience as the core of human duty. Philippians 3.13-14 Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Paul speaks of living with a sense of future purpose, looking forward to eternity with God, which shapes the meaning and direction of life on earth. In summary, the Bible suggests that the meaning of life is found in knowing and loving God, living according to His purposes, and reflecting his character. It's about seeking his kingdom, doing good, enjoying his gifts, and preparing for an eternal relationship with him. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.